Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Got a story for you today and I want to talk about it. So I got my notes. We're going to talk about a new tax that's coming in January and it's not exactly a new tax. It's a new way that the government and the IRS are going to keep tabs on what you're doing in your normal life, even down to your garage sales. And I'll explain that in a second. So as of January 1st, a new law is being put into place that 1099K reporting will be implemented, it'll be mandatory for payment flat platforms like Vimeo, Cash App, PayPal, and Zelle. Now, uh, what it means is that there will be 1099s issued for anyone who receives $600 or more in transactions. And this is for either tagged as goods and services, all right, throughout the entire year. Now, Currently, to give you an idea how different this is, so, so a lot of people go, yeah, isn't that normal? It, well, it's not normal for these payment apps, okay? But this is for anybody selling things or receiving payment on, on payment platforms like PayPal, Zelle, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's for $600 throughout the year, total. Now, currently, to give you an idea how big of a deal this is or how big of a change, um, the current rule is that payment platforms do not have to issue a 1099K unless at least $20,000 of transactions have happened throughout the year. And in that $20,000, you would have had to do exceed 200 transactions or more on that account. So to give you an idea how big of a change, how radical of a change this is, it's massive. And this is why um, I, I'm totally ticked off. Let's get rid of the no notes. This is gonna affect everybody. Right now, there's so many people out there just trying to make ends meet. Inflation is getting worse. People are trying to um, get better, to step up, right? Like I did so many years ago through all my different little side hustles. And then take that cash, build up that cash position, and then go out and invest it. This is gonna affect, and I see it all the time, even with garage sales. I'll be at a garage sale and someone goes, hey, do you take pay, uh, Zelle or do you take, um, uh, Vimeo. And a lot of times the people like that are doing the garage sale, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I, I do. You know, well, how much do you want for that? No, ah, it's a hundred bucks or 300 bucks. Cool. Here you go. Bam. And it's done. I've seen it so many times before. Now think about this. That person selling items at a garage sale is now going to be issued a 1099 K and have to claim that as income. And possibly if they do enough of it, they got to look, they might be looking at an audit down the, the road because the IRS is going to go, whoa, wait a minute, do you have a business? Because if you do, you know, that's subject to self-employment tax of an additional 15, whatever it is, 15.5, 15.3%, whatever it takes. Point being is that this is an added tax that nobody is going to, I guarantee you this is going to be unreported. And this is why, please share this video because people need to understand, wake up to what's going on right now in the world. When I talk about this all the time. We've got to get out of the system, guys. Got to get out of this fiat debt system of taxation and debt and debt and debt and tax and tax and tax. The government is spending money at insane, alarming rates and is not going back to the taxpayer. I guarantee it. And as a matter of fact, it's interesting because part of that ruling says the taxpayer. <laughs> yeah, I you know, guess a lot of people right now not paying taxes and I'm not telling you to not pay taxes, but I tell you what, you know, you didn't get to write off that old bedroom set that you just sold at a garage sale as an expense when you bought the bedroom set. But yet now with this kind of reporting that's gonna go on, you may have to claim it as income, or I'm sorry, um, yeah, as income when you go to sell it at a garage sale. So these are the times to start thinking ahead. I talk about getting out of the system, getting into gold, silver, God's money, getting into Bitcoin, Digibyte, and Litecoin, people's money. But hey, that's not financial advice because both of those come with their pitfalls too, because when you judge them past the dollar, they can go up or down in value. So that's not investment advice. But then again, what's happening with the dollar? Oh, wait, the dollar keeps going down in value because everything, everything is getting more expensive. But we have to vote with our money. We have to vote with our time. We have to vote. And this system is choking so many people out. And I hope people share this video because I think it's so vitally important that people understand that in 2023, most people won't even have an idea that this is happening until 2023, until it's too late. In just January alone, people might have a garage sale and sell more than $600 worth of goods on one of these platforms. Or like, hey, you know what? You, you're cleaning out your house, you're moving. Let's, I got an eBay account. Let's just load up a bunch of stuff, knickknacks and hobby stuff that I've had for years. Let's just close them out. 
and in January before you even know that this law exists, but you're here on the Economic Ninja channel. And if you're here for the first time, consider subscribing because I guarantee you it's not by chance because I want to warn people. I want to warn you through all the mistakes I made in the past as an investor losing money rather than show you all my successes because I don't want to see anybody go through this pain. I want to see a million people make a million dollars in this next financial collapse that's coming. And the way we do it is not by getting in heavier debt, by learning and planning a good tax preparation so that we're paying the least amount possible. And it's totally possible if you do it the right way. But warning people and telling people, like literally if people sell $600 or more worth of stuff on one of these payment apps in January before they ever hear about this law, guess what's coming to them in 2023? That's right, a 1099K and they gotta claim it as income. And a lot of people that are sitting, you know, bordering a couple different, you know, different tax brackets, they might really freak them out. Or it might exclude some people from certain deductions because now they make too much. I think this is a very important thing and I wanna get this information out, so please share it. Thank you for everyone that hits the thumbs up and all the subscribes because it, it gets this information out. And I really, really appreciate it. I think this is a very, very big deal. So with that being said, I'll um, look for a news article, a link to, you could read a little bit more about it. The Economic Ninja is out.